Dr. Mani Shankar to deliver her precious words to the gathering. Or 
we will talk about after even the lights are switched off at 10 pm. It would have been as smooth as it was shown in the presentation. There would have been a lot of hard breaks, there would have been arguments, there would have been disputes, there would have been uh, a lot of tempers which somebody is trying to control and somebody is trying to come out. So in that sense, I think this was just not a simple voluntary service. In my opinion, it is a lifetime experience. It's a lifetime experience of not just how to deal with the disaster. It's an experience, you know, if you are sent to a classroom, if you are sent to a course on team building, they can only be simulation. They can only be a tutorial. And this goes beyond a simulation and tutorial. It's real life learning of how to build a team. You will know who are your friends, who are not your friends, who is a team leader, who is a team follower. This is a real team building exercise. In the process, I'm sure you would have also learned how not to do this. In fact, in my first, very first uh, year of training as a young uh, trainee officer, uh, when I went to the district, and I was advised by one of my seniors, you should learn not only how to do things, that is the easy part, but you will benefit much more if you learn how not to do things. And my past experience of three decades has shown me that absolutely true. How to do things is the easy part. How not to do things will stay in your mind and will never repeat it in the future. I always tell that you know, my friends ask me out, people who are outside out there saying, how do you manage in the Indian administrative service? How do you deal with the ecosystem that uh, over the period of time and it is very challenging. So I said yes, in government we, we have challenging times, we have difficult times, we face very hard times but never a dull moment. And I can see that you have chosen a career which is even more challenging in different ways. It's not it's physically challenging, it is mentally challenging and this experience of dealing with the oil spill will will give you a lifelong memory of, as I said, how to do things or not to do things. And most importantly, I think the most important aspect of this is when you progress in your career, you are master leadership, you are heading an um, organization, you will actually be very, very sensitive towards the environment, be sensitive towards safety procedures, be sensitive towards protocols. There is something called standard operating protocols which either don't which either don't exist in its complete in, in its entirety or where it exists, nobody has read it, or where somebody has read it is not followed in this principle. This will tell you the result, the, this was the consequence perhaps. I think your first slide in the presentation said it is most probably human error. Human error emanates from not having an SOP, not following an SOP, not understanding an SOP. The biggest learning I believe you will take home is there has to be a SOP and you have to be careful by dealing with the ship, by dealing with the you know, marine environment. Um, I think with these words, I would like to just uh, you know, share with you a remark uh, before I end my uh, two words with you. There was somebody who came to office yesterday and they said there are international experts who are on the site assessing the pollution and how to clean up the pollution. And they said that this is one of the best responses that they have had worldwide in terms of the speed of response, in terms of speed of commitment, or in terms of commitment and in terms of actually doing the work with the delegate pollution. And indeed, I think it's a very, very happy uh, uh, comment and I think it's commendable on your part to have preserved this remarks from international experts. And for that, I would like to thank each one of the students and of course the faculty who guided them, who probably inspired them, encouraged them to work harder and harder, be more disciplined and of course, the principal and Mr. Bhakti who would have mentored and inspired you to do better and better. So with these words, 